make a motion directing our city solicitor to send a letter to Mark Fitzgerald's attorney, Doug Holtis, on behalf of the city, instructing Mr. Holtis not to represent that he serves as attorney for the city or its elected officials, and to correct the misstatement in his letter dated March 23rd, 2017, wherein Mr. Holtis stated he was representing Mr. Fitzgerald in his capacity as the mayor of Loveland, Ohio. Second. Ms. Sattel. I have no uh, knowledge of the letter or have seen the letter. So before I could vote on this, I would like to know exactly what we're talking about. Because the only thing I know is what, what some of the people have discussed. So have no, um, I have no knowledge of any of this. Um, obviously, have no involvement in any of this. Um, and um, don't get me on you. You are being very rude. That's right. Yeah. And I that's don't a, like what I see here. That's unfortunate. Sir, if you uh, will not restrain yourself, we're going to have to uh, ask you to leave. So uh, please. Uh, uh, respect the uh, decorum of counsel and Ms. Gross, you're on the floor. Can I ask another question? Um, Mr. Braun, um, since obviously Angie and I, uh, Ms. Sattel and I have no knowledge of any of this, we know nothing about this letter, um, unlike my two <laughs> council members here, I'm not an attorney. Um, so I, I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable trying to vote on a motion that, quite frankly, I don't really understand and I don't have the legal background. You can abstain if you feel you're not prepared. Okay. Ms. Bailey. My only concern, and it, perhaps it was inadvertent, but it just gives the appearance and the language that we use by the attorney that um, perhaps the, the authority of the city is behind this letter. And so the, the purpose is just to make sure that that's made clear that that's not the case. And I think legally and as protect the city, that's why I've made the motion. Well, you're an attorney, what's your opinion? Um, it's not my job to opine on behalf of the city. I would defer to Joe Braun, our solicitor. Joe, would you like to add to Ms. Bailey's comments, or uh, is that, and it's perfect, perfectly, I, I can't send a letter without counsel's authority, obviously. Um, I will indicate that uh, the letter does state in your capacity as the mayor of Loveland, Ohio. Um, as to the motion, I could easily send such a letter, um, making it clear, I think, also tonight, through your comments, you've also made it clear. Yeah, it, it, it seems to, to me that uh, uh, some of our speakers and some of our colleagues are trying to uh, uh, inject the, uh, the city into this whole discussion and it's if there's any more uh, outbursts from the audience I'm going to ask to have that individual escorted so please um, but um, the uh, it, it's not a uh, matter of uh, business of the city of Loveland, it's a matter between me and I am the mayor, much to the chagrin of some, um, that, and, and so uh, uh, you can ask the law director to write all the letters you want, but I think that it's, uh, uh, it's just not your concern. trying to get to earlier when I was about to talk was since this does say that he does represent you and it says in his referring to you capacity as the mayor of Loveland that is where this really seems to go sideways now go. for the city of Loveland so I have the same concern as Miss Bailey does uh, which is what I was trying to get to earlier now following that 
I would have a second question, probably appropriate to Mr. Braun, is since this uh, letter is going to a person who is in the employ of Mr. Fitzgerald, is there a conflict if Mr. Fitzgerald votes on this mess on this motion? Mm -hmm. Mr. Braun, um, the mayor can seek an ethical opinion if he needs one, but I, I don't know anything about this. I guess you're saying he works for him because he would have retained him as an attorney. Is that what you're suggesting? Um, uh, I, I, can, I, I saw this for the first time tonight. I had no role in this. Um, I would prefer it not state in his capacity as the mayor of Loveland, Ohio. Um, that's my professional opinion. Um, I, I also think that at least three of the five people that received this letter are here tonight and it's been made very clear to them that the only person that speaks legally for the city uh, is myself or if council empowers special counsel. Um, it would obviously again be very easy for me to communicate with this attorney or Mr. Fitzgerald himself can and state don't repeat that statement in the future. But it's kind of curious on one side some of these uh, colleagues seem to uh, construe that it's uh, uh, a city matter, but as Mr. Weisgerber just said, the individual is in my employ, so you can't have it both ways. But I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll just call, uh, go, go ahead, Ms. Bailey, and then I'm going to call the motion. That's exactly the point, but the letter implies otherwise, and that's what I would like to have cleared up. Well, I don't know how much more clear I can make it. I am the mayor. I have enlisted the uh, council as personally, so uh, if you are unhappy with his wordsmithing, I'm terribly sorry. But uh, call the roll, please, uh, Ms. Cheshire. physically present and there is a majority of council present so we can okay well it looks like you have some more work that's what you need <laughs> 